I'm optimistic that she's going to be very happy. Jennifer Hiles was born with an arteriovenous malformation, or AVM, a jumbled mass of arteries and veins in her head and on her face. They could hemorrhage at any time, possibly fatally. She had tissue expanders placed under her skin to allow new skin to grow, to be used in grafts when she has her AVM removed. I don't want to look perfect, I just want to look normal. <laughs> They're going to cut the pink off your face. They're going to cut your nose off. Yeah, that's Blood gross. everywhere. Finally, the day of surgery has arrived and Jennifer and her family have traveled to New York. Two days earlier, Jennifer had her AVM embolized to prevent bleeding during the operation. I just know that everything's going to be okay, but it's still scary because it's a big change. You can walk us to the down the hallway. She's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So, you know that we're going to remove the AV malformation all the way down to there. We're also going to remove it from your cheek and your upper lip. This skin over here is going to be brought all the way across. And this skin over here is going to be used to fix your nose. If we need any cartilage, we're going to take it from your ribs, and that'll mean a small incision. But I don't think that's it. Don't worry about bleeding. Just take some easy breaths in and out. The AVM has been removed from her nasal region. We've still got some AVM alongside the nose, which I'm going to begin to remove now, but the main bulk of the AVM has already been removed. So this is the now tissue some, expander some, and some that's the port through which we were injecting just a couple of saline to be able to expand it. How do you feel about mom's surgery? Are you excited for her to be healthy? I'm excited for I'm kind of sad. Kind of sad, yeah. It's kind of a scary time, huh? It'll be okay. Feeling better now that they're here? Got your nose. Get your nose. <laughs> you can't get your nose back. So the surgery went exceptionally well. I'm very happy. So when she's healed up, she's going to look very good. She faced a life of huge problems. She has a husband, she has two young children, beautiful children, and uh, we've now been able to give her a chance to live a normal life. When I first woke up from surgery and I was in the recovery room, I actually felt so good that I didn't feel like I had the surgery at all. And I had to ask a doctor by me, like, what happened? And I asked him to take a picture of my face. I was so happy because my entire face was just white and it looked AVM free and I, I couldn't even believe it was me. When Jennifer woke up from her surgery, I had the complete opposite reaction than <laughs> she did. I was, like, super sad about it, honestly. Like, just seeing her face all stitched up like that was really crazy. I think it was way harder for my family and to see me like that, like all stitched up after surgery because they would just think about like how much pain I was in or see me completely different than they're used to seeing me. After surgery, Jennifer started to experience some problems as the skin on her right cheek started to die and the AVM started to come back between her nostrils. When your skin is literally like dying on your face, it's, it's really scary. Like, I would look in the mirror like a hundred times a day just to see what's changing and then just kind of pray, hoping that it would get better. But it was comforting knowing that I had doctors there and only a few minutes away that could, you know, tell me that it was going to be okay no matter which way it went. Jennifer needs some more cosmetic procedures thinning her nose and repairing the scarring. She's no longer in danger of dying from bleeding out. I don't really bleed very much anymore. And if I do, it's just a little tiny bit. I'm happy where I'm at right now with all the progress. Like just to see how far I've gone right now, like that makes me so hopeful for the future. Ice cream at the table. I've been making YouTube videos, just kind of updating my journey as I go. 
like I have a lot of internet support. It's just because anytime I'm having like a bad or rough day, I can go back. I just hope that she is happy with all of all of the surgeries and how she looks in the end, and just hope to have a healthy wife. I just hope that all my next surgeries go as planned, and the scars all fade, and one day I could just you know, walk into a room and like have people see me for me and not just my condition all the time.